Kepler Fower 52b, which NASA called Earth 2.0, is the most Earth-like planet ever discovered. A place with just enough sunlight to possibly support the crops and house plants of life forms like us. What makes Kepler Fower 52b so great? NASA called it Earth 2.0 for a reason. It's a Goldilocks planet, meaning it sits in the habitable zone of its star, where the temperatures are not too hot or cold for liquid water to form. Does life exist and will humans ever reach to Kepler 452b? Let's explore these questions and all about the planet. Unveiling Kepler Fower 52b's Mysteries Scientists still need more data, but there is a strong possibility that Kepler Fower 52b has a rocky surface and a thick atmosphere. When looking for planets that might support life, scientists start with the habitable zone. The habitable zone is a region around a star where temperatures are right for water an essential ingredient for life as we know it to pull on the surface. Scientists don't know if Kepler Fower 52b can support life. What is known about the planet is that it is about 60% larger than Earth, placing it in a class of planets dubbed super-Earths, with an orbit of 385 days. Kepler Fower 52b is the first near-Earth-sized world to be found in the habitable zone of star that is similar to our Sun. Until its discovery in 2015, the Kepler telescope had only detected 12 Earth-sized planets in the habitable zone of their smaller and cooler stars. Kepler Fower 52b is the first planet orbiting a star about the same size and temperature as the Sun. Kepler Fower 52b is 60% larger in diameter than Earth and is considered a super-Earth-sized planet. While its mass and composition are not yet determined, previous research suggests that planets the size of Kepler Fower 152b have a good chance of being rocky. The star's age is estimated to be about 6 billion years old, about 1.5 billion years older than the Sun which is estimated to have existed for 4.6 billion years. Kepler Fower 52b has been in Kepler Fower 52 as habitable zone for most of its existence, a duration just over 6 billion years. From the surface of Kepler Fower 52b, its star would look almost identical to the Sun as viewed from the Earth. While Kepler Fower 52b is larger than Earth, its 385-day orbit is only 5% longer. The planet is 5% farther from its parent star Kepler Fower 52 than Earth is from the Sun. Kepler Fower 52b's surface gravity is nearly twice as much as Earth's, though calculations of mass for exoplanets are only rough estimates if it is a terrestrial planet. It is most likely a super-Earth, with many active volcanoes due to its higher mass and density. The clouds on the planet would be thick and misty, covering much of the surface as viewed from space. Because Kepler Fower 52b is larger than Earth, it's likely to weigh around five times the mass of Earth. This extra mass could help it hold on to its oceans for a longer time, preventing Kepler Fower 52b from experiencing a runaway greenhouse effect for at least another 500 million years. This longer time frame is because the planet's carbonate silicate cycle, which affects its habitability, would be more stable due to increased volcanic activity. This could provide a suitable environment for potential life on the surface to exist for another 500 to 900 million years before the habitable zone moves too far from Kepler Fower 52b's orbit. Kepler Fower 52b, under the James Webb Telescope's watchful eye. The James Webb Telescope observations will also contribute to our understanding of the surface conditions on Kepler Fower 52b. Through its near infrared camera, the telescope will capture detailed images of the planet, allowing scientists to analyze its geological features, such as mountains, valleys, and potential bodies of water. These observations will provide valuable insights into the planet's geological history and its potential for harboring liquid water a key ingredient for life. Hunting for Signs of Life, Biosignatures the ultimate goal of studying Kepler Fower 52b with the James Webb Telescope is to search for biosignatures, which are indicators of life. By analyzing the planet's atmospheric composition, the telescope can identify molecules such as oxygen and methane, which could potentially be produced by living organisms. The detection of such biosignatures would be a monumental discovery, 
suggesting the presence of life or its remnants on Kepler Fower 52b. Listening for Alien Whispers Scientists from the SETI Institute's search for extraterrestrial intelligence are already focusing their attention on Kepler Fower 52b. Their goal is to listen for any radio signals coming from Kepler Fower 52b that could indicate the presence of extraterrestrial intelligence. Since July 2015, they have looked at the planet using more than 2 billion different radio frequencies, but they haven't found anything yet. However, they are not giving up. They plan to keep searching through a total of 9 billion different channels, hoping to find any signs of alien radio signals. Will human beings ever reach Earth 2.0? The Kepler Fower 52b system is located 1,400 light years away in the constellation Cygnus. So, the question is will human beings ever reach Earth 2.0? The development of the warp drive has opened up the possibility of humans traveling to exoplanets like Kepler Fower 52b. The warp drive could theoretically allow spacecraft to travel faster than the speed of light which would significantly shorten the travel time to Kepler Fower 52b. If the warp drive is successfully developed, it could significantly shorten the travel time to Kepler Fower 52b. Of course, there are still many challenges that need to be overcome before the warp drive can become a reality. For example, scientists need to find a way to create the negative energy that is required to generate the warp field. They also need to develop a way to protect spacecraft from the harmful effects of space radiation and other hazards. But the development of the warp drive is a major step forward in the quest to reach exoplanets. If the technology can be successfully developed, it could open a whole new era of space exploration. Thank for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more such videos.